Data shows vans are involved in more accidents that result in fatal injuries to other road users per mile travelled than any other type of vehicle on the UK's roads. And the continued surge in demand for home deliveries means there are more vans on our roads than ever before. But only 12.8% of new van registrations in 2019 were fitted with autonomous emergency braking technology as standard, compared to 62% of new cars. And where life-saving active safety technology like this is an optional extra on vans, it's often expensive and difficult to source. Euro NCAP and Thatcham Research urgently want to reduce the threat that vans pose to other road users and are highlighting the lack of advanced driver assistance systems on these vehicles through a new commercial van safety rating. There's been a significant increase in the number of vans on UK roads over the past five years. And over that time, there's been a 14% increase in the number of serious injury crashes involving that type of vehicle. Injuries to pedestrians and vehicle occupants have increased by a similar percentage. And cyclist casualties have increased by 22%. There is a definite lack of parity between the levels of collision avoidance technology on vans compared with cars. Modern cars have lots, but the take up on vans is extremely poor, even those from the same brand. Manufacturers are deciding not to fit this important technology and in some cases not even offer it as a cost option. Take Renault for example. Its five-star rated Clio has all the latest ADAS technology as standard to keep its occupants and other road users safe. But its traffic van has practically nothing, not even as an option. It's a slightly better story at Mercedes. Its E-Class car comes with lots of ADAS kit. But while its Sprinter van only has AEB as standard, it does at least offer some cost options. Matthew, when it comes to vans, why are they so far behind the curve when it comes to adopting technology which has proven to prevent collisions on cars? Well, I think there are two reasons. Firstly, there's no push from the vehicle manufacturers because there's no independent safety ratings for vans. And there's also no pull from the consumer because vans tend to be bought at the lowest cost price. Surely that's not good for road safety then? No, and our research shows that vans pose a significant increased safety risk. That's because they're big and they're heavy, and also they haven't got the safety kit fitted as standard. We think there needs to be a significant change in this to improve road safety. That's why Euro NCAP and Thatcham Research are taking decisive action to drive up safety standards by testing the ADAS on vans for a new commercial van safety rating. Vans undergo ADAS tests based on those used to rate cars. These have been proven to reduce casualties. The tests assess emergency braking capability, the effectiveness of speed limiter and lane support systems, as well as seatbelt reminders. Test results produce a performance score and a subsequent rating of gold, silver or bronze. Vans that perform worst are given a not recommended rating. So Matthew, the first batch of scores have just been released. Tell us about the results. Euro NCAP have tested the ADAS technology of the 19 vans that make up 98% of the new van sales in 2019. Only VW's Transporter, Mercedes Vito and Ford's Larger Transit scored a gold rating. Five others were rated silver and six were rated bronze. Significantly, none of the vans got our Platinum Award, which means that even the safest vans on the market have got a long way to go. Five vans, namely Vauxhall's Movano, Renault's Traffic and Master, Fiat's Talento and the Nissan NV400 performed so badly they were given a not recommended rating. These findings show that vehicle manufacturers are withholding critical safety technology from their vans. And that's a ridiculous situation because the technology already exists and could be fitted if they wanted it to be. And I understand that there is new legislation in the pipeline that will require many of these safety systems to be fitted to new vans from 2024. That's right, and we urge the UK government to deliver on its commitment to sign up to the General Safety Regulation prior to leaving the EU. That means the vans on UK roads will have to be safer. But together with Euro NCAP, we want to see this safety technology being readily available and fitted long before then. 
Decisive action now will reduce van crashes, create greater parity between the technology fitted to vans and cars, and protect the public from serious injury and death.